Cratylism as a philosophical theory reflects the teachings of the Athenian Cratylus ancient Greek, Cratylos also transliterated as Cratylos, Florida, mid to late 5th century BCE. Cratylus is more popularly known as Socrates' antagonist in Plato's dialogue. Vaguely exegetical, Cratylism holds that the fluid nature of ideas, words, and communications leaves them fundamentally baseless, and possibly unable to support logic and reason. It is distinguished from linguisticity by the problematic status of style, that in a natural language, where a perfect connection is found between word and things, variations of style are no longer conceivable. Gerard Jeannette divided the theory into primary and secondary cratylism. The former is said to involve a general attempt to establish a motivated link between the signifier and the signified by inventing emotional values for certain sounds while the latter admits that language has fallen and that the signifier enjoys an arbitrary relation to the signified. Cratylism reaches similar conclusions about the nature of reality and communication that Taoism and Zen Buddhism also confronted. How can a mind in flux, in a flowing world, hold on to any solid truth and convey it to another mind? A fellow Greek sophist, Gorgias, expressed an equally ironic cul-de-sac conclusion about the nature of human epistemological understanding. Nothing exists. Even if something did exist, nothing can be known about it, and even if something can be known about it, knowledge about it cannot be communicated to others. And, finally, even if it can be communicated, it cannot be understood. Topic. See also. Quietism disambiguation Topic References <references>